Alright, this video has been a long time coming. Now I know most of you have probably asked me since I published the GoPro Hero 8 settings guide, can you make one for Hero 9? Yes, yeah, sorry it's taking me till now, but today I'm going to be sharing with you the best settings that you can just dial into your GoPro to get incredible content for a range of situations. Now today I'm going to be covering point of view, vlogging, underwater action and cinematic which is pretty much what i think is the best settings to create all types of content on now if you want to check out things like indoor if you want to check out things like snow or even more cinematic content i've already made videos on those topics you can check them out in the cards are up here in the description but today this video is going to help you get your gopro going <laughs> you go going, going so let's get stuck into it <laughs> My videos here on YouTube have gotten so much better. That's because I've been working with an incredible filmmaker in Anna Licha, who also knows a whole heap about GoPro filmmaking. Talking about underwater and filming with GoPro underwater. Some people get jumbled up with settings, and yes, settings are super important, but what's also really important is finding the right selfie stick to get the right height and the right length and all of that. We've been using the selfie stick El Grande. El and Grande. It's been working really well for us, actually. We'll show you how well it works. <laughs> If your GoPro is handy, now is a great time to pick it up and start dialing in these presets. So for shooting underwater, I recommend both 4K 60 in wide and 2.7K in 120 frames per second in wide. Each of these presets, we're gonna have our bit rate. So scroll into your ProTune, our bit rate set to high to keep the image nice and crisp, whilst also dialing down our ISO maximum to 100. That's so we don't have a noisy image. I also like to make sure my color profile is flat so I can color grade in post. I will save this as a preset and you'll notice that I have both two presets, one in 2.7K and one in 4K 60. epic is it when you add a little color grade to your GoPro flat content? If you are just as stoked as we are on how that underwater content is looking, punch the thumbs up button and also head down to the description box below because you can get your hands on the exact LUT that we color our underwater GoPro footage with for free. <laughs> Let's move on to the next setting. When it comes to creating vlogs on GoPro Hero 9, this is my preferred setting. It is 5K shooting 24 frames a second in linear. Now, I don't have time to color grade vlogs, so I just like to use GoPro Color. Also, little side note, if you are editing all this footage on your mobile, then I really recommend dropping down that quality to 1080p because that way you won't slow down your workflow. That being said, if you are a desktop editor, then those extra pixels and shooting in 5K can actually go a long way. This is one of the most immersive settings that I think every GoPro creator should be using, and that's POV. POV, point of view. Now there's a couple of hot takes that I've got to make your POV content even cooler. Now the first thing is to make sure that you're shoot shooting with super view. Now the digital lens plays a huge impact on the immersive nature of the content. The wider the angle, the wider the perspective, the more immersive it is. If you have the max lens mod, I'd highly recommend using that. But if you don't, you can get an awesome shot just using super view. Now to make these shots come to life, you need a bite mount. Now there's two ways that you can use this bite mount. That's this way, <laughs> which is up or down facing the chin. If you've got a big schnoz like I do, I highly recommend the latter, which is chin down. Now, something to note is that if the camera is pointing too far out, so kind of like this, it's not going to be as immersive. You really want the camera to face down to capture your, you know, your nipples, your feet, get all that jazz in there and that's gonna give you the most immersive POV content. Let's have a look how this looks on the bicycle. Right, 
Dialing in our POV preset, again, I recommend two options. The first of which is shooting in 4K with a standard frame rate of 24, just to allow the footage to feel natural and lifelike. Obviously choosing that super view digital lens. Now, when it comes to ProTune, I recommend dropping down the sharpness to medium, again, to keep it nice and smooth. Play around with your maximum ISO to best suit your lighting conditions. If you're moving from shade to full sun, you may wanna give it some breathing room. And lastly, if you're shooting action, consider using 2.7K at 60 FPS, also in super view. So the other thing you might wanna test out is just bumping up your frame rate now if you shoot in 60 you can just get some nice slow-mo shots and I recommend doing this if you are performing any actions in point of view Woo! Roger Federer is in the house. Now, if you guys are considering capturing something as action-packed as, say, tennis, uh, there's two settings I highly recommend dialing in. Now, the first of which is, for those of you that are choosing to edit this content on your smartphone, the Smarty, I would recommend shooting 1080, 240 frames a second. Now, if you're wanting to capture this same action on your desktop, you just want to do a little digital archive where you've got the, uh, you know, you got the hard drive space, then I recommend jumping up to one point, um, to 2.7K, 1.7K, to 1.7K. <laughs> We are editing this clip on our mobile or chasing smoother four times slow motion. Let's go with 1080 at 240 frames per second. Now scrolling up to dial in our ProTune settings, let's have the bitrate on high for crisp action. Now our ISO max can be 100 because we're shooting in full sun. However, feel free to bring this up if your environment is darker. Sharpness, let's drop that down to medium as our bitrate is high and save it as epic. <laughs> So last but not least, we are going to talk about cinematic settings because who doesn't love a little cinematic reel? And there's really three take homes here. Number one is that you should probably shoot flat because that way you can get that perfect color editing in post. Number two is that you probably want to shoot anything higher than 60 frames per second because cinematic has to do with like slow-mo and buttery smooth sort of motion. So definitely shooting above 60 frames per second. And number three, and I think it's actually the most important one, is shooting with good light, you know, good natural light. Come out for sunset or sunrise, I would say these are the two moments you get the best sort of golden light. to know more about cinematic settings and whatnot we've actually made a whole video on how to get more cinematic footage with GoPro and it's linked in the cards right there but right now let's talk settings. Dialing in these final settings for our cinematic preset let's go with 2.7k at 120 frames per second in wide. In ProTune we're gonna bump that bit rate up to high so it's nice and crisp. We'll set our maximum ISO depending on the light and in this case it's full sun so we'll go to 100 and then Lastly, I like to have shortcuts that you've seen on the screen right throughout this video. I highly recommend clicking the video in the card to check out exactly what shortcuts I like to have on the screen. Okay, I'm hoping by now that you have your new GoPro Hero 9 absolutely dialed and you are ready to take it out on an adventure. Guys, thank you so much for checking out this video. If you've learned something new, punch that thumbs up button and if you haven't feel free to obliterate your keyboard and smash the thumbs down button uh, i hope this video has helped out if it has and you're new around here consider subscribing thank you for checking out this video and sharing the stoke and i'll see you guys in the next upload jr Peace.